This is my first version of a smart glasses multimeter. It's not the most unique and best looking design, but this is yet a first version. I'm pretty sure I will improve it in the future. Actually, the first prototype looks something like this. But anyway, inside this 3D printed case, we have a custom made PCB that I will show you later in the video. Also a Bluetooth module, a small LiPo battery and a very small OLED display. The difficult part was to get the text from the OLED display to focus near your eye. And for that the solution was to place the screen at the far back of the case. And then we use a lens to make the text bigger and then project that towards your eye. So I will show you the PCB that I've made, the problems that I had, show you what components we need and how to solder each one and in which order. Then we make some tests and show you some results. This project is made to work together with an old project of the Arduino multimeter. And if you remember, that project had a Bluetooth output. So all I need to do is to send that Bluetooth data from the multimeter to my glasses and show those values on the tiny OLED screen. If you like this idea and my videos in general, please give me a like and that will help my videos get better on YouTube. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. So this is my first prototype of a smart glasses multimeter. We can attach this on our normal glasses or some safety glasses. We pour on the multimeter, wait for the Bluetooth connection to be made and get the values on the screen. And remember that the multimeter could measure voltage, current, resistance, capacitance and inductance. With this device you can now use both hands to make the measurement without wondering where to place the multimeter, rotate your head to look at the screen and so on. In this way the value is always in front of your eyes. And by the way, instead of the multimeter, you could use this for any other purpose that you want, just by showing different data on the tiny screen. Ok, so let's see how I've made it, it's not that complicated. This here is the PCB for this project. I've made it small so I don't have to make a big 3D printed case because that would look ugly on the side of your glasses. On this PCB we have the Atmega 328 microcontroller, the TP4056 charging IC because this will be portable so it needs a battery. As input I have a micro B USB connector. Then we have two sets of pads, one here and one here. These ones are for the OLED display and these other ones are for the UART port. And on the back we have a buzzer for sound notifications and an FTDI programmer, the CH340, so we could program the board with a USB cable. And here we also have some pads for the HC06 Bluetooth module like this one. And that's it. I've made my schematic and this is the final version, but I forgot to add a switch. So that means this PCB would always be on if the battery is connected. Anyway, I will add that switch in a future version. I get the schematic and pass to PCB and decide where to place each component and try to make the PCB as small as possible. I've used this small MOSFET here connected to the Bluetooth module so we could turn this module on and off whenever we want. So the PCB design is ready and looks quite good. So I download the Gerber file and go to PCBWay.com, which is the sponsor of my video. Here you have to select code now. And by the way, if you create a new account, you will get a $5 coupon. Now on this page I insert the width and the height of my PCB and select a quantity of 10 PCBs, which will cost me only $5 plus shipping. I leave it at two layers and select the black solder mask here. Now I click calculate. I select shipping to Spain and an e-packet shipping method. Then I save it to cart. And here I have to click the add Gerber button and select the Gerber file that I previously downloaded. And once uploaded I click submit order and in just a few days I receive my PCBs from PCBWay. I make a quick inspection and they all look quite well. So now let me show you the parts that we need. We need the PCB of course the HC06 Bluetooth module, a small OLED display, a small LiPo battery like this one and for the charging circuit 
you could take all the components out of a module like this one. The IC, the resistors, the capacitors and even the USB connector. And then for the Atmega328 module, you could take it out from an Arduino Nano clone. In that way you make sure that it works and also has a bootloader. And in the same way you could also desolder the CH340 IC from the back and solder it to your PCB. Together with all these components, you will also need my design of a case, so download that and print it with PLA material. You will also need some sort of mirror and a plastic Fresnel lens. You can buy those for cheap from the internet, and all the links are below in the part list. So basically this is all that we need. It's time to solder all the components, but you must follow an order. First you need to solder the Atmega328 microcontroller, the R7 resistor, the crystal clock and the R4 resistor, and also the C3 DTR capacitor of 100 nanofarads. You have all these values on the schematic. So this is the basic configuration of the Atmega chip. So once soldered, connect an external FTDA programmer to the word port pads. And then upload a test sketch and see if it works. I usually upload a counter, so when I open the serial monitor, I should see the counter value. And that means the IC is working, so we can solder the rest. So here I have the entire PCB soldered. Since I now have the FTDA programmer in place, I could now upload the code directly with the USB cable, without using an external programmer. And on the I2C pads, I solder the tiny OLED screen, using some thin wires. I upload a test code and as you can see, the OLED display is working, but now let's test the Bluetooth connection. Here I have another Arduino with a potentiometer and the HC05. You must use the HC05 to send the data, because the HC06 can only work in a slave mode. To make a connection between the HC05 and the HC06, you have two options. You can make the 05 to connect to any module that it finds around, or make it connect to a specific module. I select the first option because it's easier and faster but you will have below a tutorial on how to make both type of connections. We need to set the HC05 module to be a master. For that we make these connections between the module and the Arduino. Then upload an empty sketch to the Arduino. Now pour on the HC05 module while pressing the enable button that you have on the tiny PCB of the module and you will see that the LED is blinking long. That means we are into AT mode. Now open the serial monitor. Select the baud rate of 38400. Type AT and press enter. You should get an OK response, so you are good to go. First we type 80 plus roll equal to 1, in order to set the HC05 module to be a master. You should get an OK response. Then we type 80 plus C mode equal to 1, so we make the HC05 module to connect to any other Bluetooth module that it finds around. In this case, the HC06 module that we have on our PCB. So the master Bluetooth is ready. Just make sure that the password of the HC06 is the same as the password of the HC05, which is usually 1234. If not, you can type 80 plus PSWD equal to 1234 and press enter. And to check if that is correct, type 80 plus PSWD question mark and press enter once again and you should get the response. Ok, I now upload a code to my Arduino and send the data from the potentiometer using the serial.print function. I power on both parts and wait for a few seconds. The LED of the module will stop blinking so the connection is made. And as you can see I now get the data from the potentiometer to my small OLED screen. I could do the same but with my old project of the multimeter. Remember that it had a UART port on the back for a Bluetooth module. So I soldered the HC05 module here and upload a new code. And by the way all the codes for these projects are below. This new code will use the 0.print function and set the values for the voltage, the resistance, capacitance, inductance and current via Bluetooth. And as you can see once again I get those values on my small screen.
In this example I change the meter in resistance mode. So let's measure a resistor. As you can see I get the same value on my small screen using Bluetooth connection. So it's time to make a case. I first made some tests with a cardboard box. Because you see the easiest way would be to just solder the screen in front of your eyes. But in that way it's impossible for your eyes to focus that close. That's why we need to place the screen far away. But then the picture would be too small. So I've designed and 3D printed a case for this project, which I'm pretty sure that I could improve a little bit. So in this case we have the screen here, a mirror here, and then a small Fresnel lens and a final plexiglass in front of your eyes. In that way the picture is enlarged and pointed towards your glasses. The 3D printed case could be attached to the frame of those glasses. So I place the PCB inside and I check if I can connect the USB connector. I add some double side tape here on the back of the case and I glue the small screen here. Then I also add some double side tape here where the mirror will go. I cut a small rectangle mirror. Then I glue that here with a 45 degrees angle and as you can see we now have the picture from the screen. And at the output I cut a small Fresnel lens and glue that in place as well. I now close the top part of the case and as you can see we have the final picture from the screen at the output. Pretty nice, right? I add a small screw here on the tip of the case. On this screw I glue a small plexiglass that will reflect the light from the OLED display towards your eyes. And this project is complete. So place the case over your glasses and adjust the reflection glass so you can see the screen inside. Turn on the multimeter and wait for a few seconds to connect. Select the mode, for example capacitance, and measure a capacitor. And there you go, we have the same value on our smart glasses. I will have to make a smaller version of the multimeter that could be used with two hands and have the PCB on one side and the positive probe on the other side. In that way this project would be very easy to use. Please check below the part list, the codes and everything that you need on electronos.com where you always find some tutorials with more pictures, detailed explanations, example codes and more. Please comment below or give me a like and in that way you can help my channel grow. Thanks again and see you later guys. What's up my friends, so this is the end of this video and I hope that you like it and the most important part as always is that you have learned something new. And as you know, part of the support for this channel comes from Patreon, so I would really like to thank you to all that you are supporting me on Patreon. And if you are not supporting me on Patreon, you have all the links below. And the best that you could do is to just like this video, comment or maybe share this video with your friends in order to beat this YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much once again and I see you in the next video.